So, uh, am I the only person that loves running over ant beds? Just, just wondering. Oh, got it. Got it. There's one. Right there. Got it. Here's another one. Boom! Stupid fire ants. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get it. everybody so check this out today we are out here uh at one of my fields this is the field behind me what i gotta do is we've gotten a lot of rain well i say a lot we've gotten a good bit of rain and it always funnels down into this pit right here where these these pipes are you see the pipes in the water there's one there and there's one there um it all funnels down into this spot the problem is you see that water when it goes up into the edge of the field you see right about there, when it gets in the edge of that field, well, it goes a lot further back that way. You know, you can see it where it kind of stops there, but it keeps going further back. And the problem with that is that if you got water here, then back there is gonna be wet for 40, 50 yards beyond that water line uh, because it just keeps the soil saturated and doesn't allow the, the moisture to seep out. So we gotta pump this down yeah, there's a little gators. Those those things were hatchlings last year, by the way. They've been living here all, all year. The problem is that we got to get all this pumped out so that the ground can seep out. Now, I've got a couple of trash pumps in the back of the work van here. We're going to put them right here at these flashboard risers. I'm going to put a clamp on them to hold them in place, and they'll pump straight out of here, pump water over the boards right there, and uh, out into this pump pond. And with that being said, hopefully we can get this thing dried out this week. Got the cage to keep the catfish out. Not only will the grass clog up that, uh, but if you don't have that on there, I found out after beating my head against the wall many times that I thought, well, it'll flow better and a little bit of grass and all can just get sucked up and chewed up by the pump. Well, you suck one of those little yellow bullheads one of the little bullhead catfish i call them little swamp cats if you suck one of those up in there it's going to clog the pump up after you leave your pump's going to be running with a catfish clogged up in it and you're not sucking any water not making any headway and then this keeps the grass away from it as well as the catfish so you got to have it instead of buying the expensive suction and discharge hose just go get you some three inch thin wall pvc the couplings right here, threaded couplings fit perfect. Uh, on the discharge side, put you some screws in it, right here and right here, because if you don't, these will shoot off. They'll fly off. Um, the pressure will just push them off. On the suction side, get you some of these uh, rubber boots right here. I used to use duct tape. You can still see the duct tape here. I discovered, go ahead, spend the eight, eight bucks or so by these it forms a perfect seal if this gets any air leaking in it um you will lose prime or you run the risk of losing prime or you will have diminished pump efficiency which means you're not getting what you need to get done so we got the pump installed use the boots use the thin wall pipe it's a lot cheaper it stacks it's easy to use i'd rather have that than the uh Expensive suction hose. I got a clamp right down there. Got it clamped to that metal bar. It's not going anywhere. About to fill it up, get it cranked. All right, so check this out. I just gotta show you all this. You see this right here? This is my chesty cam, okay? The little, the little round nut that holds the top piece in is gone. I get all the way out here. I'm like 50 miles from home. The nut. It's gone. What do I do? What anybody ought to do. Keep a roll of duct tape. I duct tape that joker on. Yeah, y'all didn't know I was holding the phone. I expensive iPhone holding it in with duct tape. $2 roll of duct tape 
is all that's keeping my iPhone from going down into a muddy pit of water. So if you're going to farm, you better keep rolls of duct tape at arm's length at all times. Check this out now. We got the pumps running. Both of them's rolling water out. Um, one thing about it is these pumps, little little tip, if you run them at a little above idle speed, they will get a lot more accomplished. When you run them at high speed, they use more fuel. They're running harder, it's putting more uh, wear and tear on the motor. If you run them at low speed, they'll get a lot more bang for your buck. You get a lot more water on a gallon tank of fuel. But check it out, they're rolling out good now. Hopefully, hopefully that'll get this, all this water out here. We got more rain coming in the middle of the week. And uh, so we got to make room for it. We don't want it to go from here all the way out there. We want to make a, a pool of water, an empty pool of water for that rainwater to seep into. And then we'll come pump it again just to keep it down for good measure. But that's what the whole thing. We got to keep it down for good measure because if we don't stay on top of it, the water will be instead of there, the water will be up there in the edge of that rice stubble. So you don't you don't want that. Uh, it just makes it wetter. Everywhere you got a puddle of water, it'll if you got a puddle of water there, 50, 40, 50 yards all the way around that puddle of water is going to be soggy. And we can't have that because you can't run tractors and discs and, and, you know, combines and all that stuff. You can't run any of that stuff if you got water out there and your ground's all mushy. Last year we had to run uh, this pump. We had to run these pumps over and over and over again because basically the ground was so saturated. This year's been a lot drier. Um, it's been dry since the fall. Uh, we've, we've not had the rain that South Carolina normally gets. Normally, South Carolina is soggy. Okay, we just swamp. The low country is swamp. And it holds water. Water table's really high. Okay, so uh, back in the man van, I gotta hit the road, got pumps installed, I'm heading on back to the house. Son's gotta have the van. Um, actually, I might take a walk out in the field. Y'all wanna go out in the field? Let's take a walk, we might see a snake or something. Wouldn't that be cool? My wife thinks that's nuts. She's like, y'all are crazy. No, nah, man, that's what makes it awesome. Um, we get to see all kind of critters and stuff, you know? Might jump a deer, might be a deer laying out there. When I'm running the combine, man, there is always, like, I'm, I jump big bucks in the combine. It, the thing is, the does will jump up, like, 20, 30 yards out, right? They'll lay there, and I think that's kind of crazy. But I'm like, what are y'all doing laying right there? But the bucks will jump out from under the header. Like, they will lay there until the header is about to run them over. I don't know why that is, but the bucks will jump from under the header. Uh, big bucks too, not a little, not a little dumb bucks. I'm talking about nice, big eight, nine, ten points. So lay there until you're about to run them over. So let's take a field trip. All right, so I'm walking out here. I basically want to just see uh, where the kind of where the edge of the water kind of starts. Okay, so this it's mushy right here. You can see it's mushy. Now, <clears throat> the further we get this water out. See, it kind of goes up in here. You can't see all this from the road. See, over there are the pumps. You might can hear them in the background. There's one pump right there. Right there. Here's the red pump. Um, we're about 80, maybe 75 yards away. And uh, here's all the, all the water. See, it goes right on out in this middle. Now, I don't, I didn't plant this middle. As you can see, they mowed out here a little bit, but that's where the rice starts. Um, common sense told me not to plant all the way out into this middle because it just stays wet. And, and that's just the way it goes. So 
we need to go uphill a little bit and hedge our bets in case of rainy weather during the uh, fall, during the uh, early, well, late summer harvest. And this is it. Man, I'd love to get down in here. There's some good organic matter. This soil, this soil down in here is dark. It hasn't been farmed. Um, it's just fresh soil. It has never been really been farmed or anything. I'd love to get in here and do this. But we would really have to stay on top of the pump. And plus, it's deeper here. One more, it would be one more levee that I'd have to plow in. All right, we might get creative. I'm really thinking about going solar, using solar pump, power pump stations. Um, put a solar panels on a trailer. There's the combine tracks. But, oh, there goes a snake. Where's he at? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, well, that's that's a snipe. He's here and he's gone. Um, oh, there's another one. I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna get these jokers on camera. They're hard enough to hit. I wonder how hard they are to get on camera. Let's see. Well, there's one, there's usually more. What was that? Man, y'all ever been snipe hunting? It is a blast, but it's about 150 blasts because you got to shoot everything you got to hit one. Anyway, so yeah, they came in here and they mowed some lanes. Look at that. Got some crawfish out here. Look at that. Hey, bleached out raccoon poop. That was worth tuning into the video for. Here's the lanes they cut. And we can see it's all, see out here, I planted all this. It's all still wet. It's all wet up. We got to get this drained out, man. But this soil, I'm going to tell you what, this soil stinks, which is good. I like soil that stinks. That means it's fertile. It's got a lot of little organisms and all kind of little, you know, decay and vegetation and all that. Look at Southern water grass. Man, I hate that stuff. That is some tough stuff. It, it forms like, it's like horse hair and it's really... It'll form a dense four foot or four inch thick mat and a plow can't hardly get through it. Um, that's about the only way to control it is plow it up. But this stuff's established in here. We got we to gotta chew that up. Come on, man. I know there's got to be a snake or something in here. Some snipes was in here. A little rice stubble. We gonna, they about to, they're going to try to burn this rice stubble. And if that don't work... Uh, they don't, if they're not able to get in here with the burn crew, they're going to mow it all down and, um, we're going to till it up. Also, you see back there where the pine trees are, that line of trees, well, see the change in color. Let's see if we can zoom in a little closer. See the change in color? That's where the, that's where I stopped planting. All that right there is where I stopped planting. This year, we're going on back, buddy. We're going to go on back. We're going probably we're going to increase the size of this field by a good bit and i'm gonna bring the levee plow in here we're gonna put up a levee we're gonna grow some rice bow you can guarantee that boy we're gonna grow some rice that's what it's all about rice and more rice combine sitting over there oh case ih well let's head back to the man van Y'all have a good day and God bless. Fire ants. Can't stand them things. <laughs>